Hello, I'm Harold, and welcome to Dead Space. I'm joined by Odalis. You probably did do a playthrough of Dead Space 2. Never beat it. Got close to beating it, though. But now we're going to be doing Dead Space 1, which makes more sense. I'm going to be doing it on easy because I'm not familiar with the PC controls. Uh, and I did this earlier on PC. You know the intro cutscene for Dead Space 1, Odalis, when, with the ship going into the. Uh, yeah, well, when I did this when I did this originally on my PC, it moved at like 60 frames or 40 or 100 frames at one point, and it went so fast that it was it was like whoosh, you you didn't even see the intro cutscene. It was just too fast. So I have subtitles on. You guys probably will hear some of the sound effects or voices, but I do have those lowered so you can hear me. Uh, I may raise them throughout the playthrough. I may lower them. E Electronic Arts presents the only, the, the, you know, start of Dead Space. Of uh, course, has to start with a video log. A video log, and it also starts, this also oh, starts cool. the series, by the way, Dead Space 3 is a bad game. Well, it's a mediocre <laughs> game. It's not as good. I wish I could talk to you. There you go. There's the words. There's the words. I'm sorry. Fuck you, Nicole. I'm Nicole. Sorry about Nicole. Just no. Damn it. I like how when they showed this video log, if I'm not mistaken, Dead Space 2, it actually looked better than the one in Dead Space 1. Yeah, it kind of looks because I was actually talking! Graphical quality. Guess you really miss her. No, because Lord knows I was talking in this one. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. Yes. And Kendra, stupid bitch. Oh yes. Yeah, man. The 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 what's the word that someone used? Which I don't want to be offensive, but it's usually the case. H N I C. The guy who died. Well, pretty much the guy in charge, but he's. If I'm not mistaken, uh, you know this is a horror game, so like in horror movies. The African American guy goes first, but it's not the case here. Yeah, like he's like one of the last people to go. It's so funny. It's funny because that term that I use is just like it's pretty much sums it up because he's the head guy. He's the yeah. one that tells everybody what to do. So I can't. Be in the had phone. Samuel L. Jackson's voice, and it would have been hilarious. Oh, I, oh gosh! I, I, like I have to ask this because I forget how long this intro is. What's going on right now? Because uh, we're approaching the Ishimura. Dang, this intro is long, but you can move the camera around and look at Isaac for about 20 seconds, but you never see his face again until the end of the game. Yeah, I forgot about that. You don't. Yeah, twist. You better, you better, you better twist that camera around now because you are going to say goodbye for about the next 12 hours. Except you can't actually see his face because you can't turn it all the way around. Oh, yeah. You only saw part of his head. Well, when you crash, then you can, like, circle it up to the front before he puts on his helmet. Yeah. Yeah, because, of course, you know, they got to fix a broken communications and he's like, oh yeah, we can fix that. I like uh, how Isaac's suit like upgrades over time. <laughs> like, he I like goes, that. that like, every, every few chapters he gets a new upgrade. Yeah, I, I like that about this game was the whole holographic stuff. You saw everything on the screen. Like, I remember the big deal back when the game first came out. I like that though, to see the health bar on your back. And thank goodness Dead Space 3 didn't try to BS with regenerating health. That's the only good thing Dead Space 3 did. <laughs> Hey! Uh, hey. well the crafting he system in Dead Space 3 would be interesting. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it yeah. was. It would have been even better if it was a little bit different. Yeah, there were a couple of things they could have fixed about that like game. Like the ammo. The never-ending supply of ammo raining from the ceiling. Me there's like ammo everywhere you in that game. How hard difficulty there was a shit ton of ammo. But yeah. Can I turn well, my ca yes, I can see Isaac's face now. Did you crash already? Yeah, I just crashed. Dun dun dun. It's like, what'd you say, 48 hours max to fix everything? Jesus. He is a lying trick, I tell you what. Oh, I put my helmet on, yes. That way you can never see his face again and never hear his voice. Yeah, I think it's the silent protagonist in this game. Well, I mean, when he dies, he... he <laughs> yeah, the only time they ever have the voice... You gotta wonder, you gotta wonder about these games of silent protagonists. That when they jump and stuff, you could hear their voices, but they don't talk. So yeah. they have a voice actor for these people. They just don't talk. 
That's why I was so happy when Gunnar Wright and Sunita Henry were the voice actors for Isaac and Ellie in Dead Space 3. Because that was like the one thing that was important to me was to find out if they were going to be the voice actors again for that game. Because I really did like their, the voice acting in Dead Space 2 and I was so happy to find out they were in Dead Space 3. Yeah. Even though they were kind of... It would be hilarious. It would have it would even made Dead Space 3 worse if they actually weren't. Uh, even though they were kind of... Like Isaac has a totally different voice. Even though it didn't help that they were ex-boyfriend and ex-girlfriend at the time. Ugh. That stung. Actually, you gotta change something on my control. Uh, oh, uh, don't worry, folks. I'm not gonna take up any more time. Yeah, uh, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, there we go, booster. folks. I he changed some settings. Booster. He's had to put everything. Crank it up! I had to crank some things up and I had to lower something, so... Alright, so now everyone... So what's going on now? Everyone's landed, everyone's yeah, like... Yeah, I am... Going on. The first door and, the game. and there's about to be the biggest bitch in the entire group. Actually, you know, come to think of it, I gotta change something. Uh, it's related to the control scheme. It says I have a 360 controller plugged in, which I do. Uh, but I'm not sure whether I should unplug it or not to get the PC controls, because I do not have <laughs> PC controls currently. Or maybe I should just use an Xbox 3. I don't, I don't know. The, the thing is confusing. I don't know what LB and RB are. The, the mouse, I'm guessing, is just the aim, your reticle, and stuff like that, and then everything else is just the move. I'm gonna unplug my 360 controller right now, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one it is, although. <laughs> I'm gonna play some second and then uh, I don't wanna unplug something I'm not going to be able to get out. Uh, <laughs> I don't wanna unplug something that I'm gonna oh, be grabbing. That's not my 360 controller, whatever I just oh. unplugged. Oh god. Okay, that, that's my 360 controller. Uh, I think I mistakenly lost Odalis. Oops. Okay, everyone, I'm I'm gonna have to do this without Odalis for a moment. I gotta get to the first safe plane in the game. Okay, welcome back. Uh, where, let's get back to work. I gotta go over here and hit this computer terminal. <laughs> Damage report. Huh. That doesn't look good. Yeah, Jim Bob, you're right, it doesn't look good. You don't say. Trap system's off the way. Oh no. I'm gonna go stand by the door so I can escape. Did you know that there's an Easter egg in New Game Plus if you shoot the vent that's right next to Isaac, that a Necromorph will come out? Before? Are you kidding me? I didn't know that! Yeah, go into New Game Plus and like, you know the vent that's next to Isaac during the damage report thing? Yeah. Yeah, if you shoot that, uh, and then you walk into the main room, you'll get chased by a Necromorph before anybody even notices. Oh, nice. oh, oh there's the Necromorph. Better run. Run away! Oh, he way, 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 he way. Open, open, open! Oh, I got hit. Oh, you got hit too, right? Yeah, that's not a new, that's not a new story. Except you don't even, except you don't even take any damage. What the heck? I didn't. I got hit. I didn't take any damage. I don't know. I know I took a hit before. Like it's hard to not take a hit from that guy. It's funny as hell because the epic doesn't open right away. It's funny as hell because on New Game Plus, it's like no, you can like kill them, but there's like no point. There is because that, because that door doesn't open until you get back to get on to check out the ship. That door that you pass doesn't even open until you come up. There's really no point. <laughs> Except to maybe there would have been like an Easter egg. Yeah, same here. But it's just like nah, you could kill them because you had a crap ton of ammo from the last game, but. So that's punch. Let's stop his face. Okay, oh, there we go. I hate the melee in this freaking game. I'd rather have curb stop from hell. Oh. Curb stop from uh, Gears of War. Or I don't oh. remember. Who? Oh. Yeah, oh. Isaac curb stop. Oh yeah, cur curb stopping Isaac. Especially when you get to hear him swear every time he hit, he you stop and he's like, oh, that was great. 
And then I'm so glad they brought it back in 3, because it's just like the stupidest little thing, and it's just like, it's a, yeah. It's the most hilarious little thing. I like how you could just curb stop a bunch of dead bodies, even if they're not even Oh yeah, because marks. that's kind of hard just, to Just to try to get some uh, ammo. Oh yeah, I love that they just did that. It's like, oh yeah, let's bloody up the place. How do we do that? Eh, force the player to stop the body so that they have to get items. That's cool. I like stopping bodies, and it's a lot quicker in two than it is in one. And really? it's I didn't like... know it was quicker in two. Yeah. Well, yeah, because when you think about it, you know, you're not taking your freaking sweet ass time. Oh god. Oh, dude, I, <laughs> I love this audio log. He's like, he's like, stay away from the vent. Oh yeah, he said he's gonna stay away from the vent. And he's just like, and then, and then it comes through the vent. Okay. Like, jeez, dude. Rest in peace. That's probably Jacob Temple, the main guy who's gonna be involved in this freaking story. I forgot that you don't get kinesis or telekinesis until uh, until chapter two. Mhm. Mm or stasis, I mean, stasis too. I think you get telekinesis on this one at least. Oh, need a data board. Yeah. Oh, you're surprised I actually survived? Jeez, thanks a lot there, woman. The is a, a bitch, dude. What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? I like what I like how he's like, whatever they are, they're not friendly. No dip. I would have no never have guessed that. Yeah. Like how I'm watching them argue. <laughs> I'm just standing here watching them argue, not saying one word. Well, duh, that's what's so good. That's really the dumbest part about the whole thing. Because I think just standing there with a fucking dumbass. He's like, no, 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 no. I have a voice, I just don't like I using it. I think so many people did like some goofy parodies or something like that for um, Isaac. Hey there! I like, I like how I'm fighting and this. I like how funny and taking this guy's username is literally don't like whites. <laughs> don't like whites. What kind of username is that? Yeah, yeah PSN45 don't like whites, all lowercase. Just for people to know. Yeah, the, um, yeah. yeah. I just never get super the word. Alice for the database screen. Uh, yeah, go check out your breadcrumb, as, um, somebody on YouTube called it. Uh, I'm gonna save my game Locator. Quick. Yeah, I'm trying to find the button for the locator, and I can't it's find it. It's somewhere, it's probably gonna be L or some stupid retarded ad button. Cause you're using the PC controls that you switched over. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. let's see. For whatever reason why I unplugged my- oh, there it is, it's B, of all buttons it's B. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Why would it be B? Uh, I can't get this thing to work. Who makes, who makes up the shit. controls for the PC version of Dead Space? Like, they change every game, I think. It's B in, in this it, one, and it's different in the next different. one. Yeah, I had that problem where I can't, like, I, sometimes I get confused when I go from Dead Space 2 to Dead Space 1 on my belt. I press the long flipping button. And then I remembered when I was, like, I was so spastic about trying to get to the main menu, I kept hitting the map button, because in Dead Space 2 to get to your menu, it's... Ooh, what was that? I saw something. Like, and then um, Dead Space One, I think it's to get to your menu is triangle. So I get confused when I hit select in Dead Space One. You know what's the I'm worst chapter in Dead Space One? Come to think of it, what the one with the regenerating necromorph? Oh, that's where like it later. Chases you the entire chapter. Oh, that's always fun. I hate that. One. Oh yeah, I love how they in Dead Space Three decided to give you six of them. Yeah, that was totally classy. Oh yeah, me and my friend played that chapter on a uh, hardcore. Oh, hell no, I'm not gonna cheat that. And we don't wanna die, and we're just like screaming. We're like, no, no, open, open, open! That's all we were doing. Yeah. But yeah, Dead Space 1 is a fun game. I, uh, my, fa my favorite chapter for Dead Space 2 is the one where you go back to the Ishimura. Mm hmm. Then what is it? I think that's chapter nine. I think so. Or so. Ooh, body just fell from the sky. Gotta make sure it doesn't come back to life. But uh, yeah. I like how in Dead Space Two, when people are like talking about the Necromorphs, Isaac's like, "Yeah, I know how to kill them." Yep. 
I survived it. Well, he has the right to say that, though. I know he does, but it's hilarious. Watch their reactions. He's like, yep, but then, yep. You, but then you still have the audio log that okay, tell you how to do it. Was that? You still have the audio log that tell you how to do it, though. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Alright, it's like, oh yeah, we know you didn't, we understand that this is like a, like, whoever is the person Ooh, that- Steph, I got a stasis module. Oh, did you? Ooh, Steph! Oh, yeah. I like how I got killed by that door before, because Why I is it C? Who, why not F? It's C. Of all things, it's C. Oh my god, it's C. And even then, the stasis is worse in this game than it is in 2. At least in 2, it's like a dome effect, so you can, you don't have to directly aim it, you can just like, hit it at the ground in a general d vicinity of the enemy and it'll freeze them. In this game, you gotta be like, pinpoint. And some when I fight that regenerator and you have to stay some, time, it'll miss point blank. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's the thing. It is BS is what that damn thing is. It's complete BS. Like, I'm so glad they fixed a lot of the stuff in, um, in 2. Like, that was one of the things I liked about 2 is they polished a lot of stuff. Unlike Dead Space 3. They just, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, no, I'm not going down this hallway. It's all pitch, it's pitch black it's right now. Going down separate hallways to get some supplies. That's what I did. Why is it pitch black right now? Oh, because it's giving you like that scare effect now. Oh, there we go. The lights came back. I didn't even move. I just waited till the lights came back on. Mm -hmm. That way. I actually like Dead Space 2 because of the mix of action and and horror. Yeah. Dead Space yes, 1 is just straight up horror, and that's that's the right. reason why I'm so scared of it. That's why I've never been able to beat it. Though I, though I did actually wind up replaying Dead Space 1 just so I can say I beat all three. So I actually did go back and try to beat it, but I never beat it. I just, I, I talked to friends on, uh, on Xbox Live and I just rushed through it. Like, I didn't even care about the story. I was like, no story here, just gotta rush through it. Up until the last two chapters, that's when I started paying attention. Oh my god! Oh! It came out of the vents! Of course it does, because they always come out of the vents. Every day I'm venting it. Uh, now I have- I only have three bullets already. Um. Why isn't it grabbing on? What? The- the claw, it's not grabbing. Oh. Oh, you mean this part? Yeah, I think I got stakes in it. Yeah, because one of them's broken. Except that Except didn't that. work. Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta run back up. There was a switch up there. Chugga, 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 Yes, there we go. What if I don't want to stand by? Oh, you replace the damage parameter. What the? What in God's green earth was that atrocious vo the voice? The what? You mean them smashing through the vents again for like the thirtieth time? No, I'm talking about the 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 tram noise. Oh yeah, that always freaks me out too. Like, that's not supposed to do anything but like cover up the noises. I think of. Um, yeah, it's like yeah, it's pretty loud, and I think there's a reason for it. Yeah. Corpses everywhere. Add to the pile. Gotta add- OH! OH! OH LORD! I was just standing there and this necromorph came out of the middle of nowhere! Leave! What the heck was that? Oh my god, I was just- I went to go scratch my head for a moment. Wow, I, I was just trying to be polite, you fucking dick. Cause I had an itch, and then suddenly the necromorph just jumped me. I must be in- I must be in the Necromorph's version of a hood. Wow, dude, I'm this guy is such a dick. What, what's going on? No, cause I give him a GG for the match and he's like, if you say so, and then I'm- It's like, fuck you, dude. Wow, jeez. Good job! Oh, uh, yeah, it's nothing. You were just trying to compliment him. And he didn't- if he doesn't like compliments, he should've just Look, said so. I go back to him, I was just trying to be polite, you know, excuse me, you know, I know you killed me like three- you know, I'm playing Ticket Revolution right now, and it's just like, yeah, I know you- you killed me three- um, three rounds to nothing and shit, but damn, did you have to be such a dick about it? Yes. Like, I that shit about online- uh, uh, online games sometimes, it's just like, people are like dicks. It's like, yeah, I fucking know you're better than me, I'm not saying anything otherwise, douchebag. 
You know, I'm not saying I'm, I'm a good Tekken player at all. I'm not saying I'm a Tekken player at, in general. No, just no, like, you're not saying you're a pro or anything. No, I'm just giving them a GG and all these issues shit like that. You know, rather than being a total prick, like some people and accusing people of lagging like I got accused of earlier today. Where do I gotta go, actually? I, I, oh. I just fixed the... Hold up. I'm gonna use my objective locator. Oh, it's, this, like, it's back here. Okay. I'm sorry about that, but I can't stand that shit sometimes. I can't about either. I mean, the online gaming community a lot now. Especially on consoles. I understand that shit that, you know, don't be acting like such a prick when someone doesn't say shit to you and just give you a fucking GG and then you don't have to say, you don't have to sound like a prick about it. Uh, uh, here way, here way, here way. Oh. I know you fucking killed me and shit like that. Yeah, I was insane. Oh. Yeah, I mean, people are like that now. It is probably I just... Mean, it's annoying enough playing Tekken Revolution with some people that use just invincibles and shit like that. You know, that gets on my fucking tits, but, you know, stuff like that, like, like, okay, go to EVO or some stuff like that, you know? If you fucking don't feel challenged and stuff like that, then go over there or something. Like yeah, go go participate in fighting tournaments if you don't find it to be challenging. it be DSP. Huh. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm sorry for going on a little tangent, but it's like I'm getting sick and tired of, like, getting accused of cheating and all this other bullshit in online games. I find it funny how, because that I told you about the one guy that accused me of lagging when I could see his connection on my screen being a one. Like, whatever. That's the thing I can't, like, I can't stand about, like, because I like Tekken Revolution, but it's like, sometimes when you play online in general, the ass will just like the, what the yeah, hell? I like to come out of the woodworks. Oh, shit, I just figured out something. I'm going to figure out how I did it again. I might, I might have came up with a new juggler or some shit. That's going to keep trying. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. But, yeah. Oh, Lord. I don't like <laughs> communities these days. Hmm. You know what I'm trying to do? I'm not even giving a shit about my rank or any of that nonsense. I'm trying to get the rest of the characters without having to pay for them. Isaac, you still need to find the main tram computer. It's in the maintenance bay. Isaac, it's Kendra. It looks like the door to the storage room is locked. Mm. There should be See, I, I suck at this crap because I'm trying to do acid and I can't figure out some launches and shit like that. Objective inactive? What? Yeah, the thing's probably broken or something. Oh yeah, oh, is that- are you trying to unlock the door? Yeah, oh god, here they come. You better find the key, son? Yeah, first I gotta make sure not to die from the necromorphs. Hey, you got your auto-heal, which- that's another thing I like about this game, is just hitting the one button to heal. Ooh, like, I like- that's my favorite part about the game, is like the interactivity with it, you know, you don't have- you don't have like a separate menu and stuff like that. It's like everything's on no screen. No regenerative health here. Yeah. Like I said, the, another control change that they did was the auto health from Destiny 1 and 2. That always messed me up. Because I, so, when I go back to Destiny 1, I'm like, fuck, I really used health. Yeah. Hey, I did, what did I did? I, one what time I, I actually used all of my... Oh my god, it came back to life. Oh, wow, why are you god. so surprised by that? One thing that I wish that they would do from Destiny 1 and Death, into Destiny 2 is use the health in order of smallest to biggest. Yeah. That sometimes they will wind up using the largest health pack for just a tiny little. Yeah, like I wish they would they just go back. They do Dead Space Three. I don't remember. No, they 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 do use the exact same system from Two, and I just wish that they could like they go back. A lot of things from Two, come to think of it. Yeah, I just wish they could have gone back to that health system because that was more. Because I I find myself using health more from the menu in Two than I did in One because I don't want to use a medium for the amount of health that I want to recover. Well, that's actually so understandable I, because yeah, so I kind of wish that they had left that system alone because that system was fine. Like if I have a if I have a junk ton of health or junk ton of mediums, yeah, I won't give a shit. But if I have a small, why the hell would I want to use a medium? Because I can play the game pretty decently that I won't get hit too badly, and the game's usually nice to me and gives me some health. Like I remember that in Dead Space too. Like when you're in the mines, I got a shit ton of medium health packs during the last part of the game. I, I think, don't know. I think that's because it was preparing you for the final boss fight. My problem with the final boss fight was, by the time I actually got to the final boss fight, I had no health packs because of all the of all the necromorphs, and I had no ammo. I had to straight up beat the final boss with a javelin gun. Yeah, I remember that because the last part of the thing was basically a gauntlet where there was no store at the end, like it wasn't that big one. That was a bitch. I did the exact same thing. The javelin gun was a new gun from the game. I bought that at the beginning of the game. I was like, hey, let me try a new gun. That son of a bitch saved my ass during the final boss fight. That's the, the only gun I actually had that had ammo in the final boss the fight. The secondary fire and, and, helped and if I actually, I wind up, I had to do it like 20 times because I ran out of ammo midway through yep. the boss fight and died. 
Well, that's what the pack's there for. The shadow pack. Yeah. Like, does the javelin help me with the, the damage, the the crowd control with the shadow pack? And the reason I actually got the javelin though is because I bought all the DLC yep. when it launched, like, all the suit packs and the... Mm -hmm. And then I, I actually thought they were going to be brand new suits, but no, they were just retextures re of some of them. Yeah. Uh, it was alright, right, though. I mean... I, I bought all of it. I spent like twenty dollars, thirty dollars on buying all of those texture, uh, all, all of those. It was just strange that you suddenly got so many health packs though towards the end. Like when you get some mines, you get, before you even touch the drill section, you get like a crap ton of medium health kits, and it's just insane. Like I'm not even kidding. I was so amazed by it by the end. It was not even funny. But damn, hardcore! Woo! You wanted those med kits to save your ass. I yeah. I got to that final gauntlet section with um Nicole killed me on hardcore. She killed. She oh killed wait, you me. actually had to restart. She killed me the first time. She killed me. The only time she ever did that that one hit kill to me was on hardcore. So you actually had to restart the entire game. Not the entire game, like because in this game you in this in two you have three saves. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. So I had I had saved back in chapter one because I was so scared. I mean, not chapter one, chapter ten in the um, decontamination room when you go back to the Ishimura. Oh, that's, oh, that's you had to start yeah. all the way back from there. Yup. That's a whole. That's a whole nother. Th that's a whole nother three hours though, isn't it? Because I was so paranoid about dying, so I didn't wait until I got to the drill, and then I and then when I did the save, I got all the way to the drill without dying, and I'm like, I wish I could have taken that save back. Then my last save was before the laser room in, like, the last section, so, like, I had to backtrack so many times. In, in my honest opinion, I think there's a save right before you do the uh, eye, like, getting stabbed uh, in the there eye. There is! But the problem was, once again, did I want to risk it was the question every time I had on my mind. Did I want to risk it? I was risking with the first save by not saving before the tripod in the church because, like, I remember reading so much about, you know, so many tips about what people did, and I didn't do this with DLC, so don't start with that bullcrap of, oh, you could have done this with DLC. I didn't have it. I didn't pre-order the game. But, I remember how many, how I read a bunch of advice on what to do and saw videos, and a lot of people recommended to save before the tripod. To this day, I have not died to the tripod in the church. I haven't I, either. I don't know who would actually really recommend that. I, I died to the Tormentor randomly as hell during the, the QC sequence, or that scene with the Tormentor. I died to him randomly once. I don't know how it happened, but I've noticed that it happens to a lot of people where they're shooting at the limbs and they just die. You know, thank goodness that hasn't been kills. Yeah, that's what sucked about hardcore. Was that's oh, exactly what... the one hit kills. Oh, I'm not even so. It, it's worse in two than it is in three because there's like a couple of sections that are just outright ridiculous. So a lot of people want to talk about the 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 um the jump, the um little. <laughs> What is it? I wanted I wanted to say um, shoot I forgot what they called it when you jump from the the solar array back down to the city and stuff like that. Like everyone talks about that section as being really hard, but I kind of didn't save. Like a lot of places where people a lot of people saved, I didn't. I I saved after the church and then every other section I saved before, which messed me up. I used the pulse rifle. I so beat I actually <laughs> beat the game without a. Uh... Uh, the only chapter that gave me trouble was chapter the chapter of the eye poke. You gotta yeah, that, that was fun. That was fun. I did die to that too. It took me about 20 times for that one though. And then I had to look up a tutorial on YouTube because I didn't know what I was doing. Are you kidding me? I didn't know what I was doing. Oh jeez. It took I mean, me a while. I like how it even tells you. It does. Like, it does, but it's really hard to do without knowing exactly when to pause and... Well, yeah, but Isaac is going to move his eye regardless, so it's it's just like, I, even if I have the system down, I still mess up every now and then, so. Because I, I, I kind of had a system down, but then I'm not sure if I could, if it's reliable enough, so like, mm, it's hard. In general, it's a bitch. But the regenerator on your freaking tit every 20 seconds wasn't, um, was wasn't uh, walk in the park either, so. Because yeah. I, I had so much stasis packs, like literally it was pulse rifle stasis contact game for for uh, money and ammo um, to buy stuff. Because I did that where I got the pulse rifle for the secondary and the primary, even though people think that the pulse rifle is shit, that thing saved my ass. Um, you upgrade the pulse rifle to be your best friend. Yeah, I did that in, um, yeah, I did that in Death Space 1, too, when I was doing, like, the, back when I, when I first started the game and went for trophies, like, I did the, the one run. 
to do it on hard. The hardest difficulty. I tried to do it with the plasma cutter, but it didn't work out. So I just restarted it with the pulse rifle when it worked out. But I like the secondary for the pulse rifle one too. But yeah, pulse rifle contact beam for um, drops to get to sell back to the shop for money. And there you go. You get max stasis by like chapter four. And max stasis is a godsend in that game. And uh, yeah. in Dead Space Three, I had max rig before I got out of chapter uh, five. Mm -hmm. I had max every, I max stasis, max rig, max everything yeah. practically by. Except yeah, weapons, by, by, you know. It's, it's, it's kind of weird because you can't really... It's crazy, it's crazy that you can do it so quickly, though. If you do, if you play your cards right, you can. Yeah. yeah. That's the, that's how I'd be hardcore, it's just like a freaking mess of drama. I spent like three days straight just trying to beat that crap. I, I, I was like, right after I beat normal, somebody even recommended it's like, oh, the second you beat normal, go with the hardcore. It's like, um... Wouldn't you want to do Zealot difficulty first? To kind of get a feel of what hardcore would be like? Strange. Oh, I don't know. I just, I just jumped right in. And just, all it really was was, it was the third difficulty drops... What, no, no, it was It was fourth difficulty drops... Third difficulty enemy. So you take damage from R, but you get like Z lock drops. So you barely got any ammo and any, and the enemies um did this hard damage. So it wasn't so bad. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm actually gonna end this part here. Uh, <laughs> How far did you get anyway? I I just I have to go back to the uh, ship. Oh yay! Now you can find out what was behind door number one. So anyway, folks, I will see you next episode. I'm Harold. I was joined by Odalis. We shall mm -hmm. see you for the next part of Dead Space. Uh, bye-bye.